Well, hello and good morning. I'm Karen Brooke. It is so good to have you all on with us this morning. A big welcome to you wherever you are tuning on in from around, right around the world. I can see lots of um, comments coming in the chat already. I am just so thrilled to be here with you. Um, we haven't done this masterclass in well over 12 months. We have 100 people registered, so whether you're tuned in live or catching this on the recording, hello to you. Um, we are going to have the best three days together looking at this topic of how to turn your annual income into your monthly income. Something that completely revolutionized my thinking when I first got into this idea in 2015. Uh, I started to work with Bob Proctor. We'll talk more of, about that time shortly. And he opened my mind to this idea. What if you could turn your annual income into your monthly income? And he showed me how to do it. And within a few, uh, within a few months, I had um, made my salary in a month. Um, we'll talk more about that on today's call. But before we get into that, um, I want to acknowledge you. I want to acknowledge you for making the decision to be here. It doesn't matter that it's free. It could have been worth $10,000. You made a decision to be here. Treat it as valuable as that. Um, to commit to the sessions, commit to this training. Give it everything you've got and have an open mind. You know, I was thinking there's really two types of people. Uh, when we think about this idea of turning your annual income into your monthly income, you are going to find um, the first type of person will say, that's a, that's a ridiculous idea. I don't need all of that money. Um, that's too big for me. I don't know how to do that. Um, what's the point? I don't need all of that. That's just going to cause more stress, more overwhelm. And they reject the idea before they have even contemplated the possibility. The second type of person, now I hope that you're this type of person. If you're not, make a decision right now, you're going to be this type of person. The second type of person looks at the idea how to turn my annual income into my monthly income and thinks, wow, what a difference I could make with this idea. What a difference I could make for my family, for my employees, for my company. Think of how many more people you could serve through your business or your company what you could do with that money, what you could do for um, philanthropically with that money, um, the sort of person you would have to become, the growth that you would have to experience in order to achieve a goal like that. That's the second type of person. And that's what I want you to be around this topic. And if you weren't, if you were more the first type of person coming into this, it's unlikely because I don't think you would have registered. But if you were, Make certain right now that you decide to become the second type of person, that you keep an open mind around this concept, that you don't let that little monkey mind, the old paradigm, reject these ideas that I'm going to share with you. And it's very easy to reject the ideas because not a lot of people think like this. In fact, most people are not thinking at all. You know, most people are thinking at best doing one or two percent better in any area of their life. But here at Karen Brook, we think in quantum leaps. We think about making radical changes that improve the quality of your life, that allow you to achieve a higher level of success and live a more enriched, fulfilled and happy life. You know, I have worked with impact leaders, CEOs and business owners right around the world for the best part of the last 10 years helping people turn their annual income into their monthly income, making quantum leaps, multiplying their revenue, achieving personal goals, buying houses, taking trips, personal well-being goals that really at the beginning were a fantasy, that they didn't know how it was going to happen. They've become number one in their industry. They have turned their annual income into their monthly income. They've built a seven-figure business and they've multiplied it. They've left corporate careers a year ago and now have three companies under their belt. So much is possible for you when you work with me. So much is possible for you when you hear with an open heart and mind, when you really listen to understand this. Now, I want to caution you. This is something that my mentor, Bob Proctor, taught me. You hear with your ears, but you listen to understand. You listen with your heart and mind. 
you listen with your mind and you listen with your body. So as you go through this training with me over the next three days, I want you to pay attention to where you intuitively, intuitively feel attracted to what your body is saying in relation to an idea where you find you're getting really out of your comfort zone, where you find you're starting to get into the terror barrier, as we like to call it in my signature program, thinking into results, because that's where the growth is. When you step courageously forward into the unknown and you face the thing that you fear, which may very well be your own success, finally achieving the goals and dreams that you set out to, that may scare you, but enthuse you and excite you at the same time. That's where the magic happens. I want you to look out for those moments. I want you to look out for the ideas that really get your heart racing, that get you elevating, that get you believing in a bigger picture and a bigger version of yourself, your business, your company, and know that that can make a difference for your community. And your community is your family, your community is your friends, your community is your company, is your staff, is your employees, and the people that you serve. And for anybody, for anybody to achieve a goal like this of turning your annual income into your monthly income, you would have to be making a difference out there in the world. You would have to be serving more people. You would have to be creating a higher level of value. You would have to be doing greater good. And that is what the world needs. That is what we need more people of doing greater good. So I hope that you are ready to go, that you are fired up, that you have that open mind um, let go of all of the limiting ideas that you might have carried with you into today's training. Get excited, enthused, as Bob would say, about what is going to unfold for you over the next three days. Because if you let it and if you follow my guidance and you follow your intuition and you make a committed decision and you act on it, your whole life will transform itself. I try not to use that word change too often because people fear what they don't understand. So when we think about change, people sometimes will say, well, ever, I'm happy with everything how it is. But we want to understand that transformation and growth is a normal and natural part of life. If you are doing things the same way that you did them a year ago, you've got a big problem, my friend. You are no longer growing. You are already in a state of disintegration. If, and if you don't already see that showing up, physically, in your physical health, in your bank account, in your business, you will because you're in a state of disintegration. So we want to understand that even when it is good, we want to allow it to get better. We don't have to be sick or broken to decide to do better. We don't want to wait until we're really rock bottom to decide to transform and allow ourselves to grow. So if you're happy to use the word change, use the word change. If transformation feels like a better word for you, if growth feels like a better word for you, then you choose the word that resonates with you, but that's what we're here to do. I'm here to elevate you, to get you thinking in a new way about yourself, about your company, about what you can do in the world, and then give you the exact steps, take you by the hand and show you exactly what to do and when to do it to turn that into results, because that's my job. That's what I get paid very handsomely to do have done for the best part of the last two decades. I'm very good at it. You're in safe hands here and we're gonna have a great time together. So let's get going now um, and turn over to the first page of your workbook and look at this um, brief uh, statement that I've written here, where I say, like you, I've accomplished great success, but I also understand how it feels to have tried in the past and failed at achieving some of the things that I really wanted. I've been frustrated by past results that were less than what I knew I could accomplish. I have felt stuck and not sure what to do next. That's why I'm here to help you create the company and the business and the life that you really want with your rules and your way. You want to earn the income that you truly desire. Now, what is that income? What sort of sales or business revenue would you love to have in your company? You want to attract the work and the results that you dream of while working less and enjoying more time for yourself and your loved ones. And you want to do it the effortless way. Am I right? No more stress, no more overwhelm. So many business owners today, so many company leaders are working in the mechanical, are trying harder, are working longer hours, are feeling overwhelmed, are feeling stressed. They almost don't have the time to even figure out a solution, even though deep down they'd like it to be easier. Well, that's where I come in. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. You can have it all, but you do have to make a choice. 
you have to decide that you want it to be like this you have to open your heart and mind and you have to follow my lead with this because i will teach you everything that i know in any area of your life that you want to transform and upgrade we'll show you how to make that happen as we get into this i am going to ask you to commit and this is something that bob proctor asked me to do many 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 years ago and that is make a committed decision to yourself right now and here to complete all sessions now i get you to do this if, if it's a free training if it's a paid training if it's a big coaching program because we want to see this as valuable you know we often don't value things that we get for free categorized by the fact that you all got a mind free at birth and most people spend their entire life never really learning how to use it properly they don't value what they have inherently as a gift we have a brain we have a mastermind we have a subconscious mind that is free and available to us but most people don't value it because it is free so we need to flip that right now and start to value ourselves our mind this material that i am teaching you these concepts and have ourselves say imagine that you had paid ten thousand twenty thousand a million dollars to spend the next three days with me three hours with me getting the keys to your kingdom and approach this masterclass with that sort of attitude with that sort of spirit and this will render you so many opportunities and so many gifts um, that you could otherwise not attract if we if one is not committed so i want you to write on this page i want you to put your name in the space provided so i karen brooke commit to completing all sessions of how to turn your annual income into your monthly income and keeping a open heart and mind i allow myself to be coached because you will be triggered you will get distracted so if you don't make a committed decision and really lock yourself in it'll be so easy that this becomes shelf help you'll feel good oh i was gonna do that that's right oh but i got busy well you know what that's your life if you don't make your life a priority and creating the results that you want in your company in your personal life it's just never going to happen because there's always going to be competing circumstances and you have to allow yourself to be coached i left my ego at the door a very long time ago i have been studying every day the way bob proctor showed me for more than 10 years now and i'm 20 years self-employed i am beyond 10 years in the coaching and mentoring space i didn't just pop up overnight and i allowed myself to be coached i surrounded myself with extraordinary mentors and you are the beneficiaries of all of that study of all of that investment that lineage that stems all the way back into the early 1900s late 1800s of where the philosophies and the understanding of the mind and the universe has come from you are going to benefit from that through me so allow yourself to be coached we can always get better there is always more to learn and i really take bob proctor's lead on this you know he passed away in his mid 80s but he believed every day there was more to learn that he could do a better job that his company could grow and prosper that his sales team could do a better job that they could do a better job in helping the client that he himself still had more in in his mid 80s i remember talking to my dad about this and he's in his late 70s and he has the same thing he got up and thanked his mentors recently in a speech you know that attitude of being willing to be um, coached and to learn and grow allow yourself to be guided you allow yourself the best energy and the self-confidence to act on any impulses and ideas that come my way during this time I, I am eager, able and willing and sign that and date it. And then what I want you to do is I want you to hold it up and I want you to take a selfie and you're going to put it in the Facebook group today that we've created for you. We've created a private space for you, um, for everyone registered in this masterclass to enjoy this week. I want you to take that selfie. Just take one. That's also starting to just accept you as you are. You're enough just as you are one selfie and put that in the Facebook group. And that is your commitment for day one. And we're going to make it on day two again and we're going to make it on day three and you're going to commit every day for the rest of your life to bringing your best for the rest of your life all right let's look here in the beginning what is this going to take to create the new results that you want 
25% of it is actually looking at where you are now, taking a good um, unbiased look at what your results are telling you. So where are you now? Do you ever feel like you don't have enough time to be across everything in your life? Is there a gap between how much you are currently earning and what you want to earn? Type me a yes in the chat if this is resonating with you. Maybe it's one or all of these statements are resonating with you. Maybe there's a gap between how much you're currently earning and how much you want to earn or you know you are capable of earning, like you haven't actually consciously decided yet, right? Up until a few moments ago, we are going to shortly but you are aware that you're capable of more like you are aware that there is more capacity um, in your company in your business in your sales team with what you could be earning and how would you rate your quality of life now you can keep this personally you can put it in the chat if you want give yourself a rating out of 10 if we could simplify it that much but be honest, right? There's no judgment here. I have a great life, but still I would love to improve it. I would love it to get better. I would love to keep experiencing more of what life has in store for me. I would love to continue to meet myself in new ways. So I'd probably rate my quality of life right now, probably about an eight out of 10, right? Maybe seven and a half if I really want it. Seven and a half, eight out of 10. We wanna get that and keep moving that up another level. And then when we get to 10 out of 10, we want to work with bigger ideas that allow more growth and transformation, not because we want or need more, but because we understand growth is a normal and natural part of life that increases what is wanting the spiritual increase, the mental increase, the emotional increase that then has a byproduct, the law of cause and effect of physical increase as well. We should want everything and need none of it. And we can talk more about that over the course of the next few days. How would you rate your current days and your weeks? Do you love your mornings? Do you love your evenings? How productive are you? How effective are you? Because see, the problem is, is that most people are performing way less than what they are capable of. In fact, in U Squared, a beautiful little book by Price Pritchard, he says, at best, most people are only operating at about 10% of their true potential. And if there were no other resources or, um, information to be brought into your awareness, you could still be doing 10 times as well as you're presently doing. So just that idea alone could revolutionize your perspective on what's what you're capable of. Agreed? Type me a yes in the chat. Then we need to make a decision. So 50% of this process, 50% of any, any achievement of any goal is actually the decision. This is one of the most underrated undervalued part of leadership, self-leadership, company leadership is actually making the decision to do it. Most people are so busy looking at the reasons why it can't be done or what will need to be done or whether they've got the capacity to do it or the belief to do it, that they've actually failed in the beginning to make a committed decision to do it, to see that it is achieved. Decision though is your magic mental move. The second you make a committed decision, providence prevails. Wherever you see tremendous success, know that someone made a courageous decision. Your only prerequisite for making a decision is, do you want it? It's not, do I have the resources? It's not, can I afford it? Do I have the money? It's not, do we have the time? It's none of those things. It is, do you want it? Would you love it? If everything was possible, would you say yes to this? If you had $10 million in your bank account, would you say yes to it? I often use that with people that are coming into my coaching program, that they get stuck in a paradigm or they get stuck in their circumstances of, I don't know whether I can afford it. I don't know whether I'd have time. And I say, if you had $10 million in your bank account, would your answer be yes or no? Because that gets you to take all of the peripherals off. And what is your heart saying to you? Do you want to be here with me? Would you love to have the benefits of this? Would you love to achieve this goal? Here is the system for you. Right? And they go, oh, fuck, yeah. I mean, they go, yes, yes, that's what I want. And I say, right, make it happen. You're a smart person. You'll figure it out. Every other thing you've wanted in your life, the car, the house, the clothes, the shoes, 
the holiday, you've figured out how to pay for it. You'll figure it out. Make the decision first. Get my point. We are not going to apply this recording that my mum hears that. Biz Elizabeth, if we could put a little ding on that. But you know, I get fired up and passionate about this because I want to see you succeed. And I want to see you get this. And often your paradigm stops you. You self-sabotage yourself before you've even given yourself a chance. So then we need to persist. We need to make a committed decision. And then we have to have persistence. You have got to go the distance. Have you got what it takes to go the distance? In psychology, persistence refers to perseverance in spite of fatigue or frustration. What kind of persistence does it take for you to achieve your goals? We're going to talk about that over the next three days. And you may feel tired. You may get to the end of day two and be like, I need to have a nap because of the new energy. It's not the new ideas, it's the new energy. And this energy is so good for you and it's so prosperous for you, but it could be very new levels of energy. And so that may make you feel tired. You may get frustrated because you really recognize there's a gap between where you are and where you wanna be. And it feels difficult to close it. You have pressures of circumstances. You have ideas coming at you, your own limiting beliefs. You have other people's perceptions. And let me tell you one thing, that when you decide to step out of your comfort zone, when you decide to go for your goals, don't expect everybody around you to be happy for you because they probably won't be because they see you changing. They see you having a go. They see you getting out of your comfort zone and it's nothing to do with you, but it begins to challenge their own paradigms and they don't understand that this is what's going on. But you may, if you're looking for the, support or the love or encouragement from the people closest to you, you may not get it in, in the beginning, but it's your responsibility to do it for you. You have to grow. You have to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. You have to set and achieve those goals. And if they love you, which I'm sure that they do, they will want you to be happy. They will want you to be fulfilled. They will want you to be enriched. And the way we get you there is to get you setting and achieving C-type goals, is to get you growing in new dimensions, is to get you elevating into new levels of conscious awareness, new ideas, solving problems, achieving outside your comfort zone, making a quantum leap. And the byproduct is they get a grander version of you of which they will love even more because it becomes a level of understanding that is unconditional for oneself. And the last thing is attitude. What you achieve and how you achieve it. Your attitude is a vibration. It's an energy that you send out into the universe and it is gonna dictate what comes back to you. It's always exact and it will never fail you, but you can fail you. I'm gonna say that again. Your attitude will never fail you, it is exact. The thoughts, feelings, and actions expressed create a vibration and the law of cause and effect and the law of vibration will respond to that. But you can fail you if you fail to set the right mental attitude. If you don't really get to know this and get to understand it and just to strategically use it in your leadership, in your personal leadership, in your self-leadership, in your company leadership, help everybody else in your company to use it, everybody else to understand what attitude is, then you can fail you but we're gonna show you how to avoid that. So let's take a look now at where you are. And I want you to journal on this. I'm gonna put some background music on for you. In as much detail as possible, describe your work and life as it is now. Describe any major problems or concerns or challenges you have about your work or your personal life. Begin to identify your current situation as it relates to work, client, relationships, health, family, and of course, money. Maybe just dot those points down in the space provided and write one or two ideas. How is that now in your life? As you do this, you'll become aware of the areas you most want to change, upgrade, and improve. Journal your thoughts now.
All right, let me know in the chat which area you would most like to change, upgrade and improve based on your current situation or your current results. Type one or two words just so we get a feel in the chat. Which area do you most want to change, upgrade or improve? Personal business, business and finances. Love that. Health and business. Great business. I love this. Good, 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 good. So as I said at the beginning, the decision is so important that we make a committed decision. It doesn't matter the time that it takes. The time is going to pass anyway. So we may as well be closing the gap. We may as well be upgrading that paradigm and be in a constant state where we are creating the new results that we really want. Make a committed decision that you will create the results that you really want, that you will upgrade and transform your paradigms, that you will do this and begin to create the money, the life, the business that you really want. So now we're going to have a look at money. After all, the masterclass is called how to turn your annual income into your monthly income. And we want to have a look at where our money paradigms, personal or business, uh, most people there are focused on business. So let's look at that. I would put, I would answer this question initially from the perspective of your current yearly income in terms of your business revenue. Um, let's just keep it simple. If you're not in your own business, then I would put your currently yearly income or if you have multiple sources of income, which many of you do. In fact, the average millionaire has seven sources of income. Um, I would put your yearly income. So it's an exercise that we're doing here. What we're really trying to start to establish is where is your money paradigm set? We all have maximums and minimas energetically with respect to what we allow ourselves to earn. And when you can tell me the most amount of money that you've ever earned in a year, which you'll do shortly, um, that tells me where your paradigm is set. So a person that says the most amount of money that I've earned in a year is a million dollars, I'll know that their money paradigm has a maximum vibrational set point of a million. And if they have a goal to double or triple that or turn their annual income into their monthly income, then we have to get their new vibrational maxima or that set point to 12 million turn your annual income into your monthly income. So we have to change that. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to take a look at your money paradigm and what our results are telling us about where you're at. You can answer these questions from the point of view of your yearly income or sales figure if you are a company owner. So I want you to write down your current yearly income in the space provided. It can be a, a, a rounded figure. It doesn't have to be exact, just, you know, the sort of range that we're in. So $250,000 a year or a million dollars a year or $10 million a year. It, the process is the same. It doesn't matter what the number is. And then I want you to think about what is that as a monthly income? So if you're not sure, just get out your calculator. I think you should always carry a calculator with you. Fortunately, we can now on our phones. But um, buy yourself a little calculator, always carry it in your handbag or your pocket. Bob Proctor used to love doing that to just always play with it to make ideas easy, the law of relativity. So let's say um, I'm going to choose 500,000. Let's say you've got a turnover of $500,000 a year. That's an average monthly income of $42,000. So that's sort of the figures that we want there. Now I want you to think about making this your annual income to your monthly income. And right now on this call, we are starting to become available to that because we're talking about it. We're getting you to think about it. I'm going to share a story of when I first heard this idea of what happened to me. So where is all the money? And straight away the mind will go, I don't know how to do that. Or 
that's a big idea relative to my present income. It's only a big idea relative to your present income. So where is the money? The money is right here, right now. It just has to be attracted it. So that's why decision in, is the first step, is making a committed decision because the decision is your magic mental move. It locks you to a new vibrational point of attraction. And from that place, we can begin to attract. So now I want you to take that yearly figure. I want you to times it by 12 and that becomes your new yearly income. So if you're used to earning or having a revenue of a million, times that by 12, you've now got a $12 million target to work with. If you're used to earning $100,000 a year, then that becomes a new $100,000 a month sales figure. Or if you're a commission on real estate person uh, and you're used to earning commission of $20,000 um, a month, then that's like 250. So now we want to look at like a gross commission of $200,000 a month, so forth. See what I mean? And now I want you to think about how much of that do you actually want? Like when you really think about um, the idea of turning your annual in income into a monthly income, you may not want that. But I do want to get you thinking that you can have it if you want it. But maybe there's a figure somewhere in the middle there that you go, that feels good. It's a three times figure or it's a four times figure. And I want to share a story with you around this because this is important. When I first started to work with Bob Proctor in 2015, um, at the time the idea was proposed, maybe I was drawing, at the time I think my business was turning over maybe $250,000, $300,000 a year. And I was taking home 70 or 80,000 out of that at the time, um, it was the end of 2014. And the idea was, well, what about earning that in a month? And I nearly fell off my chair. Like no one had ever suggested that to me. No one had ever planted that idea in my mind before. It was just a radical idea. You know, you work with most, business coaches or mindset coaches or accountants they're just then then not thinking like that but bob proctor was thinking like that because he knew what i was capable of he knows something about the spirit and the mind and the universe and the subconscious mind and how to program it to get what you want and that we are far capable of more than we give ourselves credit to most people are limited in their thinking and this idea starts to really lift the lid so whether you've thought about it before, it's the first time you're thinking about it, it doesn't matter. Enter into the spirit of this idea now. And so that's what I did. I thought, well, wow, okay. I was just trying to earn $20,000 more between, you know, um, April and June. Like that was the sort of goals I was setting back then was, can I go from $250,000 a year to $350,000 a year? Like it just, it just wasn't, in the thinking and I had studied a master's degree out of the Grub Institute in the UK, you know, I'd worked with some of the best mentors and coaches. Um, they weren't thinking like this either. But we are going to get you thinking like this. And within a short amount of time that would the idea was planted in a January for me and by June I had a $70,000 a month. It just blew my mind. You know, I, I followed the pros, the paradigm shift process, I got into thinking into results. Um, I started to apply it to my own business. I had an established business at the time. You can have to do this through multiple sources of income. It doesn't really matter how you go about it, making the decision, and then you begin to find out how, put the process into play. Then in 2019, I grew my business to seven figures. And at the time, I was really thinking in terms of quantum leaps. And I'm not sure what the numbers were exactly, whether it was 20 million or 100 million. Um, but I remember having a conversation with Bob Proctor and him saying, that's a nice idea, Karen, but I wonder whether the price you have to pay will be too much. I had two, I had a toddler and a newborn baby. And he said, because one of the questions when we set a C type goal like this, less than one of thinking into results is, am I able to do this? Am I willing to pay the price? Am I willing to do whatever it takes to close the gap between where I am and where I want to be? And he was the one that said to me, 
I love the idea. I love the goal, but I'm, I'm wondering whether it'll just cost you too much. And he said, what about like a two or $3 million C type goal? And so then I did, I, I changed it to that at the time. So why I'm sharing that story with you is we've got you thinking 12 times. We've got you thinking annual income to monthly income. There is a process that I can take you through a paradigm shift process that works but it'll work for a 12 times annual income to monthly income. And it'll also work for doubling or tripling or quadrupling, making those other quantum leaps that are important to you. So that's why I wanna ask you, how much of it do you want? What feels great for you? What is a number now that you go, you know what, that would be amazing. And that might be a four times figure for you. Okay, it might be a three times figure, it might be a six times figure. So I want you to write down what that figure is for you now. Don't worry about the how, I can teach you the how. Don't worry about the means or what will be required or the ideas. We have a process and a plan, a blueprint to show you that process. Just think about how much of it you would want. And it may very well be the 12 times figure. I know right now, um, the C-type goal that I'm working on is an annual income to monthly income C-type goal again. My kids are a little bit older. You know, they're at kindy, they're back at school. Um, and I feel really great about that. I've got an amazing team. I've got amazing company clients, you know, I built that, but I built it with this process over the last two decades. Okay. So how much of it do you want? Now I want you to think about any judgments or limits that you have around money. What judgments or thoughts do you have, or did you have as you completed this money exercise? How did you feel? What did you notice? So when I, when you began to think about, this is getting back in, I wanna put some journaling music on for you here. I want you to go back into your own mind and think, what did you say to yourself when you wrote the idea of 12 times in your income? When you looked at that new yearly figure that's now, you know, $3 million versus $300,000 a year, what did you think? What did you feel in your body? What were the first thoughts that came across your mind? How do you feel about money? What judgments or thoughts or limits do you have on it? And I'll give you another example of this. When we judge money or wealth, we hold ourselves back from the abundance that we're seeking. So when you see somebody driving a beautiful car, could be you know a brand new Aston Martin, it's worth $300,000 a year. It could be a Rolls Royce worth a million dollars. It could be the latest Land Cruiser Sahara worth 150,000. You know, and if you were to look at that car and be like, I can't believe people spend that sort of money on a car. Like, that's just crazy. But at the same time, you're asking for more money in your business or your sales to grow. You're actually pinching yourself off from the flow of abundance. Where we judge wealth, where we judge money, when we allow ourselves to feel good about, um, you know, booking a hotel and flights for $1,000, but not good about buying a $1,000 pair of shoes, we're judging money. We're judging ourselves and our use of money. We're pinching off the flow. So I want you to start to pay attention in this little bit of journaling time, but also over the next few days, where do you judge money? Where do you judge yourself with money? Where do you judge or limit your relationship with my money? How are you using your money? Um, we do another exercise in another class that I teach, you know, I'll say, well, you know, thinking into results, for example, is a $12,000 program and I'll, and people will say, we'll do an exercise where we'll say, all right, well, imagine booking a $12,000 holiday for your family, um, four kids, mum and dad, flights, accommodation, you're going somewhere for 10 days, could be Fiji, could be so it's $12,000. Now let's think about giving $12,000 away to your grandchildren. Now let's think about buying a dress for $12,000. Now let's think about investing in coaching for $12,000. And we do that activity to show you that it's our own perception and self image that gives us a different experience with money and the judgments that we have on it. We may be very used to spending money on our family or on holidays and we feel comfortable with it but we've not spent twelve thousand dollars on ourselves for personal development or professional development or coaching or we're very happy to um give the money away to somebody but the idea of spending that money on a dress but it's the same amount of money so it's your your experience of it it's your own paradigm that then limits your experiences that you can have and then also what 
flows too. When we don't feel good about it, more of it isn't going to come. Right? So take some time now, a couple of minutes to really think about your relationship with money. Think about any judgments or thoughts that you had in terms of turning your annual income into a monthly income. And let's start to notice this because if you want to make a quantum leap in your company, grow your sales, grow your business, improve your position, it does come back to you. Where are you at in relation to these ideas? So let's take some time now and have a look at this. All right, make no mistake about it. When you improve one area of your life, you improve all areas of your life. So you might have a um, desire to improve a personal part of your life or a health challenge or, but when you choose one area and focus on improving that, you will improve all areas of your life. And we see this all the time with thinking into results. People that come into that program, even the Wealthy You, my 28 day program, you know, they come in with an idea of what they want to work on and they get something so much more entirely evolved from that idea because they went and they focused on one or two changes that they wanted to make with it. And when we are improving one area of our life, we're improving our whole self in order to improve that one area of our life. And so our, the evolved self then is also interacting in the business side, the financial side, the sales side, the relationship side, 
And so that has, that begins to have a new experience and a new um, experience as well. Does that make sense? So make no mistake about it. When you decide to elevate your income, to turn your annual income into a monthly income, when you make a decision to do that, and I hope that you do, and we are here to help you with that, make no mistake about it. So many more areas of your life will improve along with that decision. So let me ask you this question. Even if you have tried in the past and failed at making changes and accomplishing some of your goals, even if you feel tired, frustrated and overwhelmed with your current situation, and I know that it can feel like that. Lord, we've had a big few years, haven't we? I mean, thinking about COVID and thinking about the economy and the interest rates and everything that is coming at you every day. right i get it i've been there i'm there through it all with you and when you get this information when you understand this you're able to navigate it from a such a better place but i understand even if you feel tired frustrated or overwhelmed with your current situation you feel embarrassed that's okay to be in the same or similar position you were 12 months ago that's all right You only have a small amount of time in your day to dedicate to a solution. You know, you only, you're so time poor, you can't even imagine how you can solve it because you don't have any time to solve it. Like, you know, it's a self-fulfilling cycle of doom that some people live in. That's okay. You don't need a lot of time to get great results out of this. I'm here for you and I've got news for you. You ought to be able to create the amazing results that you want. You deserve it and you can but it's going to require a shift in your thinking. So are you ready to shift? Here's the thing, I've been there. I know how you're feeling. I felt stuck, tired, stretched, overwhelmed, wanting more, but wondering how when I was already working so hard. You know, before I really got into this and I really learned some of this information, I was working very hard in my business, trying very hard, but that ceiling of three, four, five hundred thousand dollars I did have a five hundred thousand dollar year. It seemed to just be there, no matter how hard I worked. I couldn't multiply my income. I was frustrated, I was tired, I was burnt out. Then I had a couple of babies in the mix, right? But by that stage, I was fortunate that I had learnt some information. Um, I hired an amazing mentor and learnt exactly how to change my life and create the life I really wanted. And now I have that blueprint to share with you too. It has taken me beyond seven figures um, with uh, two small children, you know, in the middle of all of these external changes that we've all faced together over the last few years, um, challenging circumstances. And I can share that with you and I want to share that with you and I want you to benefit from it too. It's not luck or chance that delivers the the big wins in life. Success breeds success and success is a system, right? It's like if we... It's like a recipe, right? If we fail to follow the recipe, we're kind of hit and missing what we're going to get out of the oven. If we follow it pretty well, we're going to get a pretty good cake. If we follow it exactly, we're going to get a great cake. So when you work with me, you get a system, a proven system that works. And when you follow the system, you succeed and success is a system. It's working in a very deliberate way to craft a mindset and habits that will effortlessly allow you to create the results that you want. Work in harmony with deep spiritual and universal laws. And Bob Proctor always used to say, if what you're studying and what you're working with and the material doesn't have a spiritual element to you, to it, you you don't have it all. You're not working with the whole of you, but this material does, our coaching does. We work with deep spiritual and universal laws and then show you how to close the gap quite tangibly and practically into the physical and the mechanical side of your life. And when I got started doing this and teaching this, well, nearly uh, over a decade ago now, this particular process, um, you know, I'm a country girl. I grew up in Birdsville in Western Queensland. A lot of my clients in the beginning, um, still to this day, are rural, rurally based or regional clients. I've got clients all over the world now, Sydney, Melbourne, New York, London, everywhere. Um, but it had to be practical. Like, you know, I was coaching graziers like my dad who had cattle his whole life, truck drivers, you know, 
um, stock and station workers to, you know, I'd be doing presentations with people that had just jumped off a tractor and come in to learn about diversifying their business and making a quantum leap. So I knew that if I couldn't explain it in a way that was practical and collapse time on some of these deep spiritual and universal laws and make them tangible and relatable, that you could then use them in your business, then I wasn't going to help very many people. So, you know, I've dedicated my whole life to getting better at this, that you too can take and work in deep harmony with the spiritual and universal laws, but it feels very practical and tangible for you to then apply these principles in your leadership, in your company, with your team, that we don't polarize, that we bring everybody together, that we work together as a team and as a universal law to help you close the gap between where you are and where you want to be. So I'm here to teach you how to do that. So you too can experience for yourself what I have experienced, what I have discovered for myself, I want for you. And I tell you none of my stories to try to impress you, but rather to impress upon you that if I can, so can you. If I have other clients that are, so can you. So who do you want to become? I want you to meditate on this. I want you to sleep on it. I want you to really think about this question. Who do you want to become and are you ready? Anything is possible when you question the status quo and you dare to go beyond and create work and life your way. If you know me, you know that I love aviation and that I'm a pilot, but I truly love aviation. And there's a particular airplane, uh, a brand called the Embraer Jets. And one of their jets is called Praetor. Um, I love it. I've got the coffee table book for it. And their motto is death. A praetor means to go beyond and lead the way. And I was like, that's what we do here. We take you beyond what you know and you lead the way of your own life. So it is time for you to go beyond. Oh, I got goosebumps saying that. It is time for you to go beyond. It's time for you to lead the way of your own life and do it your way. And I'm here to show you how to do that. So are you ready and have you had enough? We've got to draw a line in the sand. I'm going to draw a line in the sand to close it out for day one. In the words of Ken Blanchard, there is a difference between being interested and being committed. When you're only interested, you do what's convenient. When you're committed, you do whatever it takes. You accept only results, no excuses. And that's how I want you to live. Are you ready to design and live the way you really want to live? And I mean how you really want to live. Take out your journal, take out a sheet of paper and really allow yourself. You may never have allowed yourself to think at this level before, but allow yourself to do it now. Think about earning what you really want, having the company that you really want, having the business that you really want, achieving whatever you want. And don't let cynicism get in the way. Holy moly, right? <laughs> Don't let that part of your mind that it's too difficult or it's too hard or I've tried in the past and failed and all of that BS that might be floating around your mind. You just have never learned to properly upgrade and transform the paradigm. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And then you can begin to enjoy the freedoms that are most important to you. More time with your family, more time for the things that you love, more mental freedom. That is such a pandemic at the moment, you know, People are looking for freedom in their circumstances, in their lifestyle, but they don't even have it in their mind. And I'm going to give you all of that back and more this week and for the rest of the year. So welcome home. You belong here with me, with us in this space. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. We can't wait for day two. Um, get ready. I want you to head on into the Facebook group, post that selfie of your day one commitment with you in the Facebook group. Stay here for a couple of minutes. We're going to put a closing song on for you. Sit in this energy, enjoy this energy, share one or two um, takeaways. We call them pearls of wisdom. Put that in the chat for us. Um, acknowledge that for yourself from day one, what really resonated with you, what got you excited, what you felt the butterflies around. Sit in this energy for another few minutes while we close off and share with us in the chat what that was for you today. I'm Karen Brook, your high performance mindset coach, helping you to achieve a higher level of success and live a more enriched, fulfilled and happy life. And I'll see you back here for day two. Take care and bye for now.